All right, guys, welcome to Math Chat 41. So far, you guys have been doing awesome on these math reviews, going through each one of these concepts. Um, super impressed with all your hard work. We're going to continue working on these for the remainder of our school year. Um, <clears throat> right here for algebraic thinking, it says add parentheses to make the equations true. So you are given an equation and an answer. So you have 4 times 2 plus 10 equals 48. There are a set of parentheses that either need to go around the 4 and the 2 or the 2 and the 10 to make this statement true. What do I need to do first in order to get an answer of 48? So you're going to want to type your, answer, your equation with the parentheses um, around the first grouping that you're going to solve right in here. And you're going to do that the same, do the same for the next two equations. There's going to be some trial and error with these. You're going to have to do kind of some puzzle work and detective work to figure out um, how you want those parentheses to fit in order to get your answer to match the answer given. But I have faith that you guys are going to be able to do it. Down here for base 10, you're just going to be doing some double and triple digit multiplication using turtle head and mushroom method. For fractions, you are going to be multiplying a whole number by a fraction. Now remember, when you're multiplying a whole number by a fraction, one thing I recommend doing is putting that whole number over 1. So if you have 10 times 1 half, we have 10 times one half. I always recommend taking that whole number and putting a one in this, as a denominator. It does not change the value, but it allows us to multiply across and it kind of keeps everything a little uniform. Okay, so then you'll have 10 times one, which is 10. One times two, which is two. I know that two can go into 10 five times with none left over. So my overall answer is just going to be five. You're gonna to wanna to do that same process for 15 and seven over two. Down here for measurement and data, you are going to need to find the volume of each irregular figure shown. So you're gonna to wanna to try to figure out how many cubes are in this overall figure and same here as well. Remember for volume, you're using the length times width times height, or you guys can use the counting method since these are irregular shapes, not perfect rectangular prisms. So they will take some counting to figure out the volume. For geometry, you guys are given coordinates and you need to type the, or you're given plots on a coordinate grid and you need to identify the coordinate of those plots. So for example, M, I'm over six, up two. So for M, whenever I'm using a coordinate or typing coordinate, they always are in parentheses. So my first is my X, which is six, and comma two for my Y. You're going to do the same for the rest of your points. That's it for Math Chat 41. Good luck, and if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out.